I wanted to start and spend maybe five minutes just talk about what it is about open networking that Dell is, is out here that we're trying to promote and how that fits into this idea of innovation and the future of networking uh, before I introduce uh, David to come up on stage and talk about what he's doing. Um, open networking is the idea that a switch at the end of the day really is nothing more than a server, if you think about it, right? Um, they're all, all these, all the, these network devices out there, they're all running on um, industry standard CPUs, you know, from Intel or ARM or someone like that. Their chipsets more and more often are coming from the mass market uh, for, for a lot of us. Uh, and then on top of that, the operating systems that run on the switches tend to be something like Linux or something similar to that. And so if you think about it, the tradition or the, or the, the idea of a, of a network is becoming much more similar, much more open, much more like you know, the way the uh, data center has moved from mainframes to, uh, to industry standard servers to virtualized environments and things like that. And that is the goal of open networking, is this idea that, that, uh, that you can treat the switch, that the, that the transition of networking is at the point where you can treat the, your network the same way you would treat the rest of your data center. And, uh, and that's what we're here to talk a little bit about today. And then finally, I think the goal from an open networking standpoint is to get to this, this software-defined network where you've separated uh, the control of the network from a per-device basis. Uh, all the way to a, uh, you know, a, a centrally managed and orchestrated uh, environment uh, uh, in, you know, uh, that, that's most commonly referred to when we talk about SDN. And so uh, from a platform standpoint, that's Dell's kind of vision of how the network should be built. And the beauty of it is, is what it does is it delivers a platform to our customers and it delivers a platform for the, to the industry that can be innovated on and where you can have the flexibility and choice to, to do the things that you need to do um, for your unique environments as a, as a, as a service provider or, or for your customer base. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about with STT Connect today, is how they have innovated on top of an open networking platform to deliver the the, the services and things that they have. One of the things that I've also, we've announced recently this year is our next generation of operating system at Dell. And this is interesting too, because what we've done at this stage is not only disaggregated the hardware and the software, but we've actually disaggregated the software inside the system and separated the base OS from the actual applications and services that run on it. Again, giving customers and giving third parties this opportunity to innovate, to integrate, and to make changes to their network in a way that's open and flexible. And uh, we call our next generation operating system OS X. We announced it in January, and then soon after we announced it in January, we had a further announcement where we released the base layer of the operating system, the open uh, base, uh, in conjunction or in partnership with Microsoft to the OCP project as an open source project, which has now become, uh, it has now become Sonic. So in the open source world, we have a Dell operating system, uh, a Linux uh, 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 base called Sonic uh, that's uh, integrated with, mic with technology from Microsoft, Mellanox, and others. And then from Dell, we have that same uh, base operating system available that we're uh, uh, in the process of driving and integrating, or I should say driving or converging all of our uh, uh, existing legacy operating systems from Dell to that model so that we can uh, simplify and deliver a, a great user experience. All right, I'm going to start in, in, in to, with this little easy softball question. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and, and STT Connect? What do you, what do you guys do? Certainly, STD Connect is part of ST Telemedia. Um, we are a global data center um, a company. Do I have, your, do I have a slide for you? There we go. And of course, our main business is enabling our investees to deploy cloud in a global you know, footprint. We have a one world, one data, cent data center concept. Cloud, as everyone knows, is complex. It's not easy. 
we, we were started because our investee companies, you know, potentially could go out, spend millions of dollars and still not have a cloud. So we have all the expertise in-house to build and deploy the cloud, and we'll talk about that stack a little bit later. And our goal is to connect all of our data centers globally and to provide that true one world, one data center vision. So a customer in Singapore can provision instances in China, they can provision instances in the US and of course Europe. Interesting, and this all kind of originates here in Singapore. It's all driven and managed out of Singapore. Yeah, so that's, that's important. I think this is, a, this is an Asia PAC conference. So I think the idea that we've got innovation coming you know, here in the region is a, is a really important, uh, a really important point. Oh, look, I mean, we, we understand the complexity of cloud. We understand how mm -hmm. hard it is to actually deploy that. We take a mindset of infrastructure as code, right? We have a very small team. We want to maintain a small team, but we want to have that global footprint and that global scale. And our investee companies will benefit from this going forward. Starhub being the investee in Singapore, and this is a true enterprise private cloud. You know, this is providing five nines. This is providing high availability, high performance, security, agility, and everything that enables enterprises to evolve. That's great. So, uh, so the next question then, of course, is then how do you how did you uh, decide to build that? How did you how did you uh, put it together? Well, when we we're looking at this, the first thing we want to do is we wanted to embrace open source and open standards because that enables us to live to the ethos of infrastructure as a code. It doesn't give us that vendor lock-in and it gives us, of course, agility. So when we looked at this, we broke it down to a simple components, you know, compute, storage, network. Uh -huh. Compute and storage, you know, it's an important aspect, but we have the ability to change that without major complications. Right. Networking, of course, when it's in, first off, it connects everything globally. That is a very hard component to replace. So we actually looked at a number of SDM providers out there with the goal being we wanted it to take advantage of open networking and um, we wanted to be able to actually scale globally. So and how does how does the uh, that's a I mean that's a good point but how does the the SDN nature and the scale globally how are, why are those so tightly linked to you? Well again mentioned before we're providing five nines enterprise availability. Right. So with that we need to be able to actually a, achieve that seamless failover anywhere in the world. We need to enable connectivity from each of the respective regions. And of course, we need to be able to actually do this using commodity hardware. We can't be locked into a single vendor. We can't be constrained by their R&D and development cycle. We need to have that ourselves. So in a sense, what you're saying is that, uh, again, you're, you want to take the innovation into your own hands. Definitely. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good message. Um, so you've, uh, tell us a little bit about what, what were the, how did you actually, what are the pieces that you put together to come to this solution? Well, we've built this using OpenStack, we're running on Liberty as the version from that. Okay. We're using, we're exactly. taking advantage of Red Hat, um, and we're using Ceph, um, for our storage perspectives. Okay. When it comes to networking, we evaluated a number of options. So our decision was to actually go with Big Switch. Um, Big Switch addresses what we need within the data center, both locally and, of course, globally, um, from a scale perspective. When we went with them, it's, again, tied back to one of our principles of open, open standards, and Dell was the obvious choice. You have been okay, at the forefront, you've been at the forefront of the open standards and open compute movement. Um, it's been well proven and tested, as you mentioned, in Verizon in a very large environment, and our own experience with it has been, you know, not without its little hiccups, but it's, okay. been, it's actually been a fantastic experience. Excellent. So tell us, uh, I mean, that's a, that's a great thing. So you've, you've had a good, uh, good experience overall. Where are you in the terms of the, of the deployment of, of this solution? We, um, it's all fully built. It's ready to go. We're just finalizing a few little details before the full commercial launch. Excellent. But I don't want to steal Starhub's thunder on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. All right. Well, the last uh, I have only a couple more questions. The last one I have, I guess, is you 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 uh, made the decision to work with Dell on Definitely. this project. Um, how has that experience been? The experience has actually been very good. I mentioned before, you know, technology is not without its own hiccups. When we decided sure. to actually use the Dell switches for Big Switch, they all arrived. We put them in. Of course, engineers being engineers, first thing they did was they bricked one of them. Um, that didn't actually stop us building the control plane and the fabric. We called up Dell, 
No questions asked. Hardware arrived the next day. We put it in auto configuration. Um, I mean, this is technology. Hardware will fail. The one thing is, is the relationship and the response times. And with Dell, more than happy. We're now expanding, and of course, we'll be expanding with Dell. That's good to hear. Thank you very much. That's great. Um, so, uh, one last question then, uh, as we uh, wrap up, is there is there any kind of uh, final parting words or advice that you would give uh, a fellow or, or competitor or, or a, a partner, you know, in the industry uh, who's doing thinking about something like this? Well, you really do need to embrace open standards. Open standards, open source, where it makes sense, is an important part. The reason that we actually are working with Dell is because you've been doing this well ahead of anyone else. You, Thank you. Um, you've set the benchmark for other vendors to actually follow, and we like how you're innovating. We like the partnership and the relationship we have. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Well, great. I, uh, I really appreciate the, the time and the, the, the opportunity to have you come and talk to folks out here today. Um, would you be willing to take a question or two from the audience? If More they than have happy. Any?